Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 29th of February. PM Modi and Mauritian counterpart inaugurate new airstrip jetty in Mauritius. Imran Khan's PTI urges IMF to ensure Pakistan election audit before bailout talks. And soaring inflation, electricity costs hit Pakistan's apparel industry. And now for all the details. In a virtual ceremony on Thursday, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Mauritian counterpart Pravin Jugnauth jointly inaugurated the new airstrip and St. James jetty along with six community development projects at the Agalega Island in Mauritius. Terming the event a symbol of the exemplary partnership between the two nations, Mauritian PM thanked Prime Minister Modi for giving a new dimension to their bilateral ties. He said setting up of the new airstrip and jetty facility is the fulfillment of yet another Mauritian dream. Meanwhile, PM Modi termed Mauritius as a key partner and said developmental contributions are based on priorities of Mauritius. India has always respected needs of Mauritius and acted as the first responder. He said highlighting India's long-standing support to the island nation. Last month, the island nation had also enabled the UPI settlement services for its nationals as well as for Indians visiting the country. Moving on, India's Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal on Thursday said India is a consensus builder in the World Trade Organization by playing a key role in the process, but some countries are breaking that. The minister's remarks came amid allegations by certain developed nations that India is blocking deals at the WTO. Goel, who is in Abu Dhabi for the 13th WTO ministerial conference, further said that India stands on strong principles of fair play and justice and wants to ensure that all decisions taken at the multilateral body are in the best interests of India's farmers and fisher folk. पहली बात तो यह है कि विश्व ने देखना पड़ेगा कि कौन मुद्दों पे ब्लॉक कर रहा है और कौन जिम्मेदार है कि डब्ल्यूटीओ का कामकाज स्मूथली और आगे क्यों नहीं बढ़ रहा है इससे यह साबित होता है कि भारत तो वास्तव में कंसेंसस बिल्डर है हम सहमति बनाने में अहम भूमिका बना निभा रहे हैं और कई देश अलग-अलग विषयों पे सहमति को तोड़ रहे हैं Meanwhile, during the conference, India, along with South Africa, successfully blocked a key proposal known as the Investment Facilitation Development Agreement, led by China. Reports suggest India raised several concerns and said that IFT does not fulfill the criteria for a formal agreement as it has not received unanimous support from all the WTO members. With India and South Africa's objection, the IFD is unlikely to be adopted by the WTO in its current form. Moving on, India on Wednesday slammed Pakistan and Turkey after the two nations raked up Kashmir at the high-level segment of the 55th regular session of UN Human Rights Council. Coming down sharply on references made by Ankara and Islamabad's representative, India's first secretary, Anupama Singh, said it was unfortunate that the council's platform was once again misused to make patently false allegations against India. Reiterating that the entire Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh are an integral and inalienable part of India, Singh said the matters there are internal to India and Pakistan has no local standby. We cannot pay any further attention to a country that speaks while being soaked in red. The red of the bloodshed from the terrorism it sponsors around the world, she said. That we cannot pay any further attention to a country that speaks while being soaked in red. The red of the bloodshed from the terrorism it sponsors around the world, the red of its debt-riddled national balance sheets, and the red of the shame its own people feel for their government having failed to serve their actual interests. Pakistan's jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan's PTI party on Wednesday said it had urged the IMF 
to ensure an audit of the disputed general elections is carried out before any bailout talks with Islamabad. In the last interaction between Khan and IMF representatives in 2023, the PTI said they had agreed to support the lenders' financing facility for Pakistan on condition that free and fair elections will be held in the country. This comes as the IMF last week announced that it is willing to work with Pakistan's new government. Reacting to the PTI's letter, PMLN Supremo Nawaz Sharif said that it is akin to hostility against the state and highly irresponsible. Pakistan's cash-strapped economy is still struggling to stabilize after securing a three billion US dollars IMF loan last summer. Moving on, the apparel and clothing industry in Pakistan is grappling with the triple threat of high inflation, persistent load shedding, and electricity costs. A report. The apparel industry in Pakistan is facing a tough time due to high inflation that has reduced consumers' purchasing power, leading to a decline in footfall in markets. Additionally, persistent load shedding disrupts business operations and creates an unfavorable environment for both traders and customers. Despite the outages, hefty power bills only add to their woes. The persistent power outages have long been considered a significant hindrance to Pakistan's economic growth. Traders lament the authorities have failed to address the issue. Rajendra Mato, a prominent Madesi leader in Nepal who has launched the National Liberation Movement along with his followers, scuffled with security forces near the administrative center on Wednesday, demanding an end to restriction orders. Mato took to the streets attempting to reach Methigar Mandal, a protest site at Kathmandu, and demanded the right to demonstrate there. Mato had earlier this week quit the Lok Tantrik Samajbadi party over dissatisfaction with the decisions made by party chairman Mahanta Thakur, including appointment of office bearers. Expressing the goal of building an alternative power through the campaign, Mato has indicated a agenda of establishment of federalism with multiple states. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.